Yo, what is up guys and welcome to episode 3 of the H2 United Career Mode. Today we are back at it. We are in December and we'll probably end with January. Um, if you saw last episode, particularly the end of it, um, you know that today we are going to be going through a very, very big month. We have Arsenal mid-month on the 17th. And then our next game after Crew Alexandra is Iswich in the FA Cup. So a very, very big couple of matchups there. And as for the league right now, there aren't that many big matchups except for the second uh, fixture against Salford, which they're the only team that are keeping up with us, with us, surprisingly, because they have just been recently promoted from the National League. Um, as for top goal scorers, Bizos, Jansen, and Bonifazi all... Um, with double-digit goal scoring seasons so far, which is very very exciting to see as we're only in December um, But we're gonna go quickly into the crew Alexandra game. We're playing uh, Egby at center back a fire of course at left back and Akpan will make his debut um, Because crew Alexandra I believe are in the bottom three so we're gonna try out a bit of the young lineup Robinson is also in at the CDM so hopefully we can get the win here crew Alexandra haven't had the worst form, but we do end up going with the win there. Bonifazi getting the goal in the first minute to uh, give us the win there and the three points as we keep on chugging along in this league. At this point, I think we're probably going to win the season uh, or win the title, but um, you know, hopefully the team just keeps on winning. As for the youth scouts, none from England and none from Nigeria really that um, had any potential of signing. We have, of course, our Scott, uh, our Scottish scout, of course, still out. Can we get ourselves a center mid? That would be absolutely amazing. Do have quite a few decent, decent players at the end of this rotation. Ben Hamilton, another right back. I don't know what it is with me and right backs, but we have about four or five that we've scouted. Douglas Anderson now. That is promising. 6-1, right foot, uh, 70 to 94 potential. 68, um, 68 is his high or his maximum rating, I guess. But uh, he could technically be a center mid. So a big match against Ipswich Town. Um, of course, in the last FA Cup fixture round one, we beat um, we beat Cambridge, I think, five nil. Um, so right now, we're just hoping to get another win. Ipswich are a decent team, but we went two nil. Bezos and Bonifazi with the goals that send us through to the next round of the FA Cup. Very, very happy with that. And of course, um, we still have the Arsenal game. That is the, probably the biggest game of this season so far. Of course, if we make it past Arsenal, we're going to be in the semifinals of the EFL Cup. Just to win that in our first season would be absolutely amazing. Of course, a League 2 team. We're not really the League 2 level, but it would still just be absolutely sensational for us to win that competition. Benjamin Akoy is back in the squad, which is amazing as well. He'll probably team up with uh, with our other right back slash center back uh, from Nigeria. I believe Egby is the one that we're playing at center back right now. Going into the Walsall game, we're mid-December. We are two or three days away from this Arsenal game. I put in a bit of a weaker lineup, so we actually did end up drawing. Jansen with the goal, McDonald tied it in the 87th. I didn't have too much of a weak lineup. Um, I think I only put in Robinson, really, and Akara. Akara has just not been good. I'm thinking I'm probably going to actually be training Morris as our main striker because he does still have the potential to be special. Even though he has a one-star weak foot, I still think it's worth it because at this point we're only doing simulation. He's a year younger as well. So I think we're going to commit to Morris. And then I also want to start training that central midfielder. I'm just not sure who to do it for. I guess ideally it would be Robert, uh, Robinson. But 16 years of age for Douglas Anderson. I might want to sign him as well because I just want to see. He actually does have really good dribbling. I might just want to see what his work rates and stuff are like. Biggest game of the season, Benjamin Akoy. This is his return game as well. Um, we really, really needed him in the center back, so I saved him from the other match, so stamina didn't go down. And I just realized we had Robinson in, which could have gone very bad. We got Cappadocia in, Egby. Um, we decided to take Akpan as good as he's been playing. We decided to take him out for this game and go with Egby. 
for his first game, I believe, starting on the right back position. So this is pretty much our full strength lineup. I could move around some stuff in the midfield, but I want to be playing these youth players. So home against Arsenal, quarterfinals of the EFL Cup, Nicolas Pepe has scored four goals in the competition. Andres Townsend, surprisingly, with the top goal scorer so far. Home against Arsenal, biggest game of the season against a Premier League side. Can we win? No. Egby injured. Egby injured. That's that's probably the biggest thing we took out of it. I wasn't expecting to win the game. Willock, Pepe, and Sayabos scoring a Kenrigi. Um, put one away in the 45th. But the biggest thing that came out of that game is our young right back slash center back, Egby, is injured. Akpan definitely will take his spot, but hopefully it's not for too long. We'll go into the Plymouth Argyle game. 10 days, it's fine. So into the Plymouth Argyle game we go. Unfortunately, we're out at the EFL Cup, but a great run in all respects. We made it to the quarterfinals as a League 2 team. Probably we're around the actual rating and stuff of, of a like League 1 team, but uh, Plymouth Argyle absolutely blown out by us. Eggenberger, he came up from the reserves actually to replace um, Akon, Akon, I think. And then Jansen, Bonifazi, and Bezos with the goals. Home at Grimsby Town, December 26 on Boxing Day. They've lost their past two matches. Let's make it three, and we will. Bezos and Bonifazi, once again, dynamic duo, getting all the goals right now for the club. Jansen has kind of sneakily just been one of our top goal scorers as well. I don't feel like he scores a lot, but he still has 12 goals in the season. Bezos tied right now with Guthrie for the top goal scorer, and I still can't believe that uh, Salford City have kept up with us this whole time. They're still only three points behind us, and I think we've only dropped two points. We dropped two points against them, and then we dropped two points um, the game before the Arsenal game, so great job for them to be keeping up with us. They'll most likely uh, be promoted with us because I think they're like 15 points or so ahead of third place as well. But we go into the game against Forest Green. They haven't been on the best form either. We've just been on amazing form. I don't think we've lost in, except the Arsenal game, of course. We haven't lost in the league in so, so long. Bonifazi and Akani Rishi with the goals there against Forest Green. And we're just absolutely rolling. Port Vale is next, and we go into the transfer window as well. Going into the Port Vale game, away from home, once again, I mean, with every single game this season, I'm looking for it to be a comfortable win, but going into, let's say, League One, that's where we're projected to be in next season, I'm just a bit weary that we're not going to have a good enough striker. Bizzles and Bonifazi are doing the work, it seems like, every single game for us, but uh, there are two center midfielders, so... I'm really, really hoping that uh, either Morris or or Akara starts to put the ball in the back of the net just a bit more. I don't think, I think they've each probably scored about one goal this season, so that is pretty shaky. But as you can see, Bonifazi has 19 this season, Bizzle has 18, Jansen with 13, Akani Rigi with 7, and then it drops all the way to 3, 2, Benjamin Akoy and Egby and Eggenberger all have... Um, the same amount as Akara, and actually more goals than than uh, Morris. So it is it is kind of shaky up top for us right now. Maybe we do change formation because Bizos technically isn't the striker anymore, and these guys are being forced to play center forward. So next round of the FA Cup is against Petersburg, but before that we have a couple of uh, youth scouting reports. Two of them are the final ones of that guy's. Uh, trip, so we are going to have to send some more out. Adebola has sold. He was one of our Nigerian center forwards, I believe. Um, we just don't need him. We have way too many attacking players. Malcolm McDonald, though, from Scotland, 74 rated, 17 years of age. Um, he Hopefully, he's a central midfielder. He looks to be either that or a center back, so maybe he could also play center defensive mid for us. He is already possibly, you know, probably like 65 rated. So I think he's already going to take the spot of Robinson, who we have as our sub uh, center defensive mid. But that is a very, very good player to get on our last one. And Nigeria, one of the uh, one of the places that have just given us so many great players, doesn't give us anything on the last run. 
We're not going to send a, a scout back out to Nigeria for a while now because we have so many great players. But what an England scout. 78 rated Nicholas Lewis and a 73 rated Peter Davis. I, I really, I, I just hope that this guy is a center mid. First of all, Peter Davis looks to be a center back probably, 6'2", 17 years of age, I'll take it. But Nicholas Lewis is a possibly a left wing, 78 rated, potentially an overall, and he's 16 years of age. That could be our new star player. We might have to change up the formation to start fitting in uh, these players. Now, first, McDonald. That is an amazing set of a weak foot and skill moves. I mean, skill moves at two star isn't that good, but he's a CDM. To have five star weak foot is amazing. The only problem is high medium work rates. That is what I do not like from his uh, from his uh, card, I guess you could say. And then Davis is three star, two star, decent for a center back, already has 83 physicals, and he can also be a center mid. So I think he could definitely be a player that we train up. Maybe we give up on Akpan, put Egby out there, and then Davis comes in. This is this is an ideal situation. This is exactly what I wanted to happen with this career mode for us to have basically too many options in the team to where we're just rotating players constantly in and out um, that each are basically fighting for the position. So I'm very, very happy with how the squad's looking. Let's get into the next game and hopefully we can get the dub with Davis making his debut as well as McDonald. So away from home, Emirates FA Cup, Davis and McDonald making their debuts. It is kind of a bold move for me to put these guys in for the Emirates FA Cup, but it pays off. Bonifazi with three goals and Bizos with one. McDonald, Davis each with their first clean sheet. And we move on to the next round, which I'm very, very happy about. Absolute domination against Petersburg there. At this point, I mean, we're looking like we could... We could blow through League One as well. January 11th against Oldham Athletic. They have not been in very good form. Um, looking again comfortably for the win. And we're going to get it. Bonifazi and Jansen gets two. Jansen has been on a pretty big drought. But he finally gets his goals. And he gets two of them. So he's up to 14 I believe on the season. Bonifazi on 16. And Bizos on 15. So we have three guys in the top five goal scorers. It just shows our complete domination. So going into the last 12 days of January, we're going to end the episode off on this month. We have, uh, unfortunately, our top goal scorer, Bonifazi, out with a red card. So we're going to try out McDonald at the center mid because he has a high medium work rate. Davis at CDM because he can play center mid, but he's also a center back. So I don't know why he couldn't play CDM. Um, and then Akpan will fill in the right back spot as Egby moves into the center back. So a full Nigerian back line, um, which I'm expecting very, very good things from. We go in against Colchester. I think they're fourth place, so they're doing quite good this season. Probably going to be battling in the playoffs. But we win 3-2, and Morris gets his first two goals of the season. Finally, our striker... Um, I did change the formation. I changed it to a 4-3-3 second variation, I think, uh, which everyone has a defensive midfielder. Morris now is a pure striker, gets two of his first goals, um, one in the 86th minute, and then Norris on Colchester uh, put, uh, put the penalty away in the 89th to make it 2-1. But we win very, very close, but uh, we get the three points. Next game is against Cambridge. We're going back with Bonifazi in the midfield, and I keep forgetting to train that left mid that we found from England, who's probably our best prospect right now, um, as we win comfortably 4-0 against Cambridge. Davis with his first goal for the club. club. Egby gets his second goal, but also gets injured. Bizos and Bonifazi Pretty much guaranteed goals at this point, but um, I keep forgetting to train him. We have so many great youth prospects to train. I might have to make maybe create two sets and basically, you know, off and on um, train them because we have so many youth players that could easily um, slot themselves into this starting lineup. Egby, though, as you just saw there, out for eight weeks, unfortunately, as we come to the end of January. 
Couple transfer offers. Dennis Afaya, probably our best youth player right now that we've developed. Going for about 1.5 million. We're not gonna sell him just yet. Aiden Hamilton, I do want to loan out. Um, and our centerman, we're just gonna sell him. But yeah, Aiden Hamilton will be loaned out. He's the Scottish center forward. Um, because I just feel like we're gonna get a lot more uh, prospects. We did go out to Greece for six months and we went out to uh, the United States for six months as well for the next scouting reports. Round four against Blackpool away from home. I think they're in League One. This is gonna be another test. Um, as a lot of a lot of these FA Cup games are tests for us in the next couple of rounds, and that is gonna lead to a FA Cup replay as we draw against Blackpool. But yeah, a lot of these FA Cup matches they're just preparing us for the next uh, the next season, which I'm very very excited about. And the final game of the month and the episode away versus Newport County. They've drawn, drawn, and lost, but at this point. We can't, we just can't. Bizos with two goals, Anson with two goals. We really just can't expect us not to win at this point. We just have such a good team. Even with replacing all of our, all the old players with youth players, we now have a full starting lineup of youth academy players. Um, and of course, Egby is out now. He, he would usually be in, but right now the starting lineup um, is gonna be Dama. Probably Ekby right there, but for now it's Akpan, Davis, Okoy, Afoya, McDonald, Bonifazi, and Bizos in the midfield, Morris up top, Jansen, and Akani Rigi. So that is the starting lineup for the foreseeable future. And of course, we still do have to train that really young uh, English left mid, but that is going to be all for me. I hope you enjoyed today's video, episode 3 of the HT United Career Mode. Um, I will see you guys next time, maybe to finish off the season. No, there's no way. We're going like two months at a time, so it'll take maybe like two or three more episodes. But uh, that's going to be all for me. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.